years ago, they found an aneurysm on one of my kidneys. And uh, that was found by a CAT scan, and we've been watching it for a number of years. Well, suddenly it decided to pop. It decided to get large. And it was certainly threatening my life. She had a renal artery aneurysm, which can have the possibility of rupturing or exploding. Um, which would obviously cause an emergency situation and possibly fatal in her condition considering her age. In her case, the aneurysm was close to the kidney parenchyma, that is the actual organ of the kidney. So there was no way to safely treat that aneurysm inside her body. I was terrified. Um, I really thought I might not make it through the operation. So in some patients that have very significant comorbidities, other illnesses, an option may be just to remove the kidney and discard it. That's called a nephrectomy. The downside of that option is you lose half of your kidney function because you're relying on the remaining kidney to work uh, and take over function. In her case, after a careful evaluation, we thought the best option was to take out the kidney cool it down just like we would a kidney transplant, an organ transplant, repair the aneurysm, and then put it back in. This has been done in the past only on a very few occasions because renal artery aneurysms are not well identified um, pre-mortem. You know, you know, typically it's something that they find in an autopsy. So here's this aneurysm right there, and I can zoom this up to show it a little bit better. So the main kidney artery and then this aneurysm, and if I rotate it, you can see it's coming off at a location where all the main arteries to the kidney are going, which makes it very challenging to treat with the traditional methods of stenting or bypass. Going into surgery, I thought about not wanting to leave my family, wanting to see them, six wonderful grandchildren, four, four children seeing the kids play baseball, going to their weddings, um, all of that. Um, I didn't want to leave my family. So I went to surgery with Dr. Sanchez and Dr. Kashup, and one took out my kidney, and put it on a table, and the other repaired the artery where the aneurysm was on. And uh, then after it was repaired, they put it back in, in another place. So. I've been saved. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing that uh, we're able to, you know, in fact, that I'm able to do something or be involved with something like that. And, um, you know, that's why I say this is my gift and I like to share it. With every passing year, we have more technologies, innovations, devices, treatments that make our patients better. And by and large, we're doing them in a less and less invasive manner. And what excites me is that I'm part of that process that we, uh, here at University Hospitals, we get new technologies, new innovations, surgical innovations, endovascular innovations, and we're able to bring that to the patient very quickly. It's a wonderful thing when um, people have the skills to help people live. So uh, I'm very happy, I'm very grateful, very, very grateful for the skills that they were given and they did save my life.